So, after taking an asinine long time, I'm finally back to bring you more content in these trying times. And while I was sitting on my ass and taking a break due to the burnout, uh, I decided to play Doom Eternal, the most relaxing game I've played in ages. Jokes aside, I really enjoy Doom Eternal. I know some people say that they think Doom is 2016. Uh, jokes aside, I really enjoyed Doom Eternal. It's just so much fun and the gameplay is perfect for my kind of play style. I know some people think that Doom 2016 was better, but I think it's most nostalgia, because going back to that game now, it's really slow uh, compared to what Doom Eternal is right now, especially when consider all the improvements they made to the game. However, I won't be talking about my experience with Doom Eternal today, I can do that another time, uh, mostly because everyone is sure to do it, everyone is sure to review it, so I thought about what else would be a cool video idea. All right, let's talk about the cherry on top, the final refinement at the most necessary part to Doom. It's a weapon. So I want to talk about the weapons and more specifically my favorites on why that is so, ranking each gun from the worst to best. I also won't be judging the Crucible and other base equipments as they are not really a gun you can use for multiple enemies often. And just to make this clear, this is 100% objective facts in this video. Me with my 7 million IQ will be judging each weapon throughout intense research and testing. Anyone who disagrees have a small pee pee and is wrong as this is facts and definitely not my own opinion. Got it? Okay, let's go to the worst gun first. Oh, as so obviously, spoilers for the game's weapons and minor spoilers for the story. It feels really bad to put such an iconic weapon on the bottom. The main problem with the combat shotgun isn't that it's bad or handles poorly or even feels bad to use. In fact, I believe it's one of the best feeling guns in the game. However, its main problem is just how obsolete it becomes once its bigger brother comes. The gun is amazing. It's exactly how a pump shotgun should feel in a video game, but it lacks the firepower to do so. As you will see in the background, it has problems killing some of the smaller foes requiring multiple shots, which for one of the guns with the less amount of shots per mag, is pretty bad. Uh, yes, I'm not utilizing it to its fullest here, as I'm watching something else while playing, but I can't even finish off a mini boss with a full mag, which most of these other guns can. Don't get me wrong, the attachments are great, they fit the weapon and truly make the beginning a joy, but by the end of the game, I only switched to it by accident which isn't that great. Any other multiplayer, it would have been my favorite, but in Doom Eternal, it just doesn't cut it. The downgraded Gauss Cannon. Okay, so don't get me wrong here. I love the design and the purpose of this weapon. Its damage are so different and make the gun the most unique weapon in the game. But I got to ask, who said this is okay? Like, this is called the Destroyer Blade, and it hits like a wet fart! The Combat Shotgun and the Ballista are a good example of great weapons in the wrong game. I love the idea of the Ballista, and I want to love it so badly, but it simply doesn't fit with the pacing of the game. Enemies move too fast uh, in this game for long charge-up attacks to work. The Destroyer Blade being particularly bad at this, with not only is a long charge, but very specific use cases. The moment you actually get a shot lined up, they already vanish before you can charge it, which is a huge problem. This weapon is obviously supposed to replace the Gauss Cannon from 20, Doom 2016, which I'm gonna call Doom 16 for the rest of the video, for my own sake. However, in Doom 16, the weapons felt powerful. The long charges were paid off in extreme firepower, but here it just doesn't work. Mainly because there aren't very few targets which require the Destroyer Blade and specifically, as I've shown you in the footage here once again, I hit it, these guys multiple times with it, but it just didn't do anything because it's just not enough to finish off some of the tougher guys, which a, such a long charge attack should at least kill them in at the very least two shots, if not one. It doesn't help that other weapons such as the rocket launcher and chain gun outpace it in DPS, but this thing is all about power. Even the master sucks. 
Oh boy, thanks for letting me shoot quicker by making it worse and losing its main purpose. The only redeeming factor uh, is that it is relatively quick to fire once equipped, making it a good weapon for taking down enemies such as the Marauder, and the Arbalest being useful for bosses with a great uh, instant recharge mastery, which is really the only reason it wins over the combat shotgun. The main reason being, I still do equip it. I won't say too much about the weapon other than being disappointing. Don't get me wrong, I love the design and it's, it's a good gun, coming especially handy in the last boss fight, but it feels flat compared to what I wanted. When a weapon takes 6 challenges beaten to get and BFG ammo, uh, and it's good, but just barely. The main problem is ammo, if this gun had its own limited ammo, or just more, I wouldn't complain. But the fact is that it can only shoot 60 shots with, a very f with very few refills, which is a bummer, especially towards the later stages, where BFG is just a superior alternative when there are so many demons coming for you at once. The weapon is meant to act as a better plasma rifle with its high DPS and good movability, but the problem is that the plasma rifle is meant as a gun where it's okay to waste a lot of ammo as you're taking down demons while on the move. Here the ammo is only, not only limited, but there's a high chance you miss a shot and waste it. To summarize it, I like it, but I want the weapon to be stronger. It just feels like a waste of ammo, and I would like to fully utilize the reward I got after going through Doom Hell. The previous weapons on the list I have judged mostly from its lack of usability, power, or combinations with other weapons, but not this one. The rocket launcher is a great weapon. The lock-on feature and remote destination are both great to either kill lots of weaker enemies or kill one big fast ones like the Whiplash. But this gun is the first weapon in this list I got to put down because simply of how it feels. I love how the guns feel in this game. They have this power and might to them, which ironically the rocket launcher misses. Maybe it's exactly the sense it's a rocket launcher that I feel this way, but it lacks the oomph I want. I should feel blown away from my seat firing it in triple barrages. I understand this is to make it easier to play, but for Doom Eternal, I want to feel more power. In other other games, it would have been perfect, but for Doom, it should nearly be above that. The BFG 9000. Ah yes, the big f gun. And yes, I added the bleed for comedic effect. I really like using it. When you take it out, every demon in the area are going to their own funeral. I don't think I have to explain why it's so good. It's the strongest gun in the game. Able to kill most demons in a single shot and killing multiple per shot as well. The recall feels perfect and loading time matches that quality. The only reason I don't have it higher is due to the limited ammo and almost the fact that it's too strong. I do kind of feel like I'm cheating, but sometimes it feels just so good to fire, man. I was really unsure where to add this gun. On one hand, it's slightly worse than his brother, uh, and its main fire is really bad, but on the other hand, the attachments are perfect almost. Uh, the heavy cannon becomes such a fun gun when it's fully upgraded. The scope size become maybe the most useful attachment since no other guns really can do the same. But the micro missiles are amazing once you get the mastery, letting you unleash it for an infinite amount. It demolishes most demons and can clear up areas in seconds, plus small barrages by switching with other weapons lead to deadly combos. Just a good gun, with very few drawbacks, and who can hate a gun with just works? This is the most surprising pick for me, since I originally didn't like it that much. But, using it more in my second playthrough showed me just how good this weapon can be. The plasma rifle, as said earlier, is a weapon you can use mostly to weaken demons while dodging, uh, so you can set up a huge damaging shots like using the super shotgun, ballista, or rocket launcher. Unlike the unmerky, it has lots of ammo which you can quickly refill. Yes, though it does way less damage, it isn't limited, which suits the weapon's style of play better. Plus, its attachment, Heat Wave, is a perfect to kill lots of other small demons, which you can combo with a flame belt for lots of armor or disable demons' main weapons, specifically cannons and missile launchers to the Mancubus and the Revenants, respectfully. Its gradual charge also lets you use it earlier while losing as much usability 
unlike the Ballista's Destroyer Blade. If you get the Plasma Rifle a shot, you will be surprised at how much you can use it for general damage while charging up other weapons or dodging attacks. Just don't use the microwave beam. It's probably the worst attachment in the whole fucking game. <laughs> And now we come to the big bad guns, the two weapons I use the most, and lack the most. In second place, it's the mini- Uh, yeah, sorry, um, no, it's not actually called the mini gun, it's- What? Yeah, it, it's- It's actually called the chain gun. It's called the chain gun? Ah, fuck it. The chain gun feels strong, falters even the strongest demons, and obliterates everything. But for real talk, the chain gun is not only really strong, but useful. Its quadruple barrel turret form stops Barons of Hell, Dreadnoughts, and Archwiles with no problem, proving useful at relieving the pressure you're facing. Its other form wields a plasma shield, providing a set relief from incoming damage. Being the gun with the most overall DPS, except the BOG and Unmaker, doesn't hurt either. When getting the weapon, you want to focus on the master challenges, which relieve the gun itself of its own drawbacks, and let it evolve into the perfect killing a machine. Yes, as you can tell, I really, really love this weapon. <laughs> and the best gun of Doom Eternal is... It's the Super Shotgun. Be honest, what you expect? You, you should know this by now. There's nine weapons in the entire game. You should know which one I'm, <laughs> I'm saving till the last. Naturally, it is the Super Shotgun. I know I was sarcastic in the beginning, but this is truly just the best gun in the game. Not only is the Super Fucking Shotgun packing extreme damage and providing the most close quarter damage, but its use cases against bosses, mobility, and armor recharges tips this gun alone into the number one spot. The meat hook is amazing, with great range and its mastery makes the gun nearly a necessary tool for survival in the later stage of the game, providing the player with so much needed movement and, and armor recharges. You can go where your enemy is, and beyond, and kill them while you're at it. But the best part, the best fucking part, is how it feels. This is what I wanted from a super shotgun. This is what I wanted for the rocket launcher. A recoil and sound which makes you shake to your core. It tells you how fucking dead that demon is. <laughs> Though this answer is cliche, it's for a reason. There just isn't a valid enough reason why it shouldn't be the best gun in the game. Especially with all the combo and ammo you gain the later levels. The super shotgun is a classic and will forever stay that way. That's it for my list. I hope you enjoyed this completely objective list and found a new gratitude for the effort in software put into this game. It was really hard to list some of these guns as they are all amazing in their own right and in other games would have been nominated for the best gun for each game. So it's really hard to say which gun is the best since they fit and cater to different playstyles in such different manners. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, you also know what to do. If you want to see more of me or a potential Doom Eternal review in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the motivation bell while you're at it and spread the word. If this blows up, then naturally I'm going to make a real analysis of the entire game in my own stupid manner. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.